Hi everybody, it's Bob from For the Love of Claude. And I'm doing a basic kind of tutorial of my body paint that I do for my Steven Universe cosplays. This is just going to go over the basic coating, the base paint for the cosplays. I have another video where I'm going to do the detailing and the contouring and the highlighting, etc, etc, etc for my specific characters, Peridot, Lapis, and Pearl. So we're gonna start off with the paints that I use. So for Bob and Lapis, I use Crayolan Aqua Color. This is number 587. I really, really like Crayolan and also Tag, which is what I use for Peridot. I'll show you that. I use Tag Light Green for Peridot. And I really like both of these brands because they're inexpensive, they are really easy to apply, they're water soluble, so at the end of the day at, from your con, you can just get into the shower, it washes all off, 30 minutes, you're done, you're in bed. And yeah, and they also look really nice and you really don't need more than two or three layers. And they're pretty high quality body paint and they are actually meant for your body. Um, they're not like any crazy acrylic paints or anything like that. So the first thing that I do for my body paint is I set it with setting spray. I recommend the Final Seal from Ben Nye. Also, I use the Maron setting spray. And that's the first thing I do. Someone told me that that creates like a barrier between your skin and the body paint. That's a good first thing to do. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I cannot uh, tell you if that's true or not, but that's what I do. Anyway, and then I will add my eyeliner and my, my, my lashes or any kind of waterline detailing that I want on my eyes before I start the body paint. So I get that set up first because it's easier to just do the eyeliner without having to worry about messing up your body paint. So let's see, then the next thing I'm gonna do is add my base coat. So for Bob, it was just some of the aqua color. So I just basically wet a brush and try to pat the paint onto my body. I don't try to use too many strokes because then it looks streaky when it dries and it's really easy to layer when you just pat it on like that. So after I've done my entire first layer of my face, my chest if I'm going to paint my arms, then I'm going to set it again with some setting spray and then I let that dry. then basically you just repeat. And then you set it again with another layer of setting spray. So at that point, once I've done two layers, that's usually pretty good for my arms. I usually don't do more than two layers for my arms or my chest. Um, I definitely always do three layers for my face. And between the second and third layer, sometimes that's where I add my contouring, my detailing, my highlighting, or I can do that after the third layer sometimes. Um, and then after you're done with all of your layers and your setting spray, I recommend, again, like at least two or three layers, just so you don't get that streaky look. It's going to look really clean. Then I go ahead and set it with a powder. So I use a Mayron setting powder. So basically I just dip my fluffy brush into the powder and pat it onto my skin. Again, making sure not to brush or do a lot of strokes because it kind of screws up the paint. So I pat it into my skin and let that dry. That's how I do my base coat of my body paint. Uh, my big advice would be don't be a clod and set your paint. Um, it's really not fun to leave little paint trails all around the convention center. That does not make other cosplayers happy. That does not make the people running the convention very happy. So always, always, always set your paint, especially if you're going to do your hands and your arms. Use multiple layers, set it in between layers, set it really well at the end. You're gonna be really happy and you won't have to reapply it as much throughout the day. Um, as far as um, arm socks go, I really, really, really recommend getting arm socks for your body paint. So basically what arm socks are is they are tights that are modified to fit around your hands. And this saves you so much time when you're getting ready in the morning. When I bought my lapis arm socks, it like cut half an hour to an hour off of my morning body paint routine because that's another three layers of paint on a ton of surface area that you're not painting anymore. Um, I got my arm socks from the shop Pumpkinetics on Etsy. They are super nice. I really recommend their arm socks. They know Homestuck cosplayers. They know Steven Universe. They can work with you. They know the characters. They'll help you find a color you like. They customize them to your hands. The seams are really not that noticeable. And yeah, they slip on really easily. They fit really well. 
And yeah, so Pumpkinetics on Etsy is what I would recommend, but there's lots of arm sock suppliers, or if you're crafty, unlike myself, you can sew your own. They use the We Love Colors brand of tights, and that's also what I use for my legs. They have tons of colors on that website, and they're super affordable tights, that's really what I recommend. Um, as far as matching my arm socks to my paint goes, people ask me all the time, how do you match your arm socks and your paint? And for me, it was just kind of luck. I showed up with these tights to Supercon, happened to run into a lapis cosplayer whose body paint matched my tights, and I was like, hey, what body paint do you use? Because it matches my tights. So otherwise, I know other people will buy like a blue and a white, or a green and a white, or a green and a black, and they will mix the paints together until they match their arm socks, because they'll just get their arm socks first, and then they try to match the paint to it. Otherwise, I really have no advice on how to match arm socks and paint, other than, you know, try to match them and be aware of like the borders of where your arm socks are. So when I wear my halter top lapis, I try to line up the dress so that it creates a barrier in between the arm socks and the paint. It just makes this a little bit less noticeable. So when I go to cons, I always bring my bag for reapplication. Throughout the day, you know, sometimes if I eat something, some makeup will come off my lips, especially in my eye area. I always have to reapply throughout the day. So I just kind of bring my base coat and my contouring color and also some eyeliner. I carry that around with me. And then I also bring, because I'm wearing arm socks, I will bring a pair of clear gloves, which is super awesome. That way you don't have to worry about when you're reapplying, getting the paint on your hands, and you can also eat. So if I want to have like a burger while I'm in my cosplay, I just put these gloves on, I don't have to worry about getting my arm socks dirty because we want to keep these fingers blue and not like burger or ketchup color or guacola or whatever I'm eating. And uh, what else? I always bring an umbrella because when it rains, as it does often here in Florida, then you just do this and you're safe. You don't want to end up stranded somewhere because you can't walk there because your body paint's going to melt off your face and you're going to look like Lapis in that one episode. <laughs> don't want that. What else? And I guess my only other piece of advice would be, if you are body painting, like, don't hug anyone without their permission when you're at a convention. That should go, that is, if you're, if you're body painted or not, don't hug anyone without their permission. But some people, when they see you in body paint, they're kind of like, mm, I don't want them to hug me, because even if you're sealed, they may not know that. They might freak out if you, like, try to high-five them or hug them or whatever. Um, so again, always with cosplay, ask for consent. Cosplay is not consent. That's pretty obvious. Otherwise, look out for my future videos where I'm going to talk about how I specifically do my lapis, my peridot, and my pearl makeup. And thank you so much for checking out my channel. I am on Tumblr as For the Love of Claude, on Instagram as For the Love of Claude, and on Facebook and YouTube as For the Love of Claude as well. And if you have any questions about body paints, about cosplay, if you have any requests for any future videos you'd like to see from me, leave a comment, send me a message, hit me up on social media. I would love to hear your suggestions. Have a great day, you glow!